Hey guys, it's Arika Misha coming to you today with another quick breakfast idea. Today I will be cooking hash brown breakfast sandwiches. Yep, y'all know me, always creating something. So hash brown breakfast sandwiches. Okay, let's start out with our hash browns. Just basically what we have here, I got these from Publix of course, y'all know I love Publix. Hash brown potato patties. Just, you know, the little hash brown patties. That's all it is. Hash brown patties. Okay, got those. And I got some leftover breakfast sausages, some Jimmy Dean uh, breakfast sausages. And of course, my old faithful Oscar Mayer uh, hardwood smoked bacon. And of course, my Publix grade A jumbo eggs. Easy, basic breakfast stuff anyway. That's all it is. So you guys will see how it all comes together. All right, y'all. Let go. Okay, guys, I've got the bacon and the sausage in the oven. Pan that up. Of course, I'll show you guys that when it's finished. Now it's time to get our uh, tater patties. As you can see, it says tater patties. Try these hash browns. Call them what you want. They hash browns. So, <laughs> anyway, y'all. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to be cooking the tater patties, hash browns, in the air fryer. There's nothing, and as you guys know, I always lay my aluminum down so it's not so messy. I sprayed it with oil. Y'all know how I do by now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and lay my hash browns in here. I'm telling you guys, there's nothing like air fried hash browns. Nothing like an air fried hash brown. It is so, the air fryer cooks it up so nice and so crispy and crunchy. But I don't want them too crunchy. I don't want them too hard. So let's go ahead. See how many I can get in here. Okay. I don't want to overcrowd it. Let me see if I can turn them this way. Okay. All right. Yep. That's good. So we got five in there. That's good enough. And I'll cook the second batch of five. Two, three, four, five. Because, yep, I get ten in a box. So you guys can see the hash browns in there all nice and neat like I said I sprayed that bottom with oil also gonna spray the top of the hash brown with oil remember use your oil I use my Publix Old Faithful canola oil whatever oil you want to use whatever spray you want to use but always spray your food especially when you're cooking in the air fryer it helps your food cook so we're gonna go ahead put these in the air fryer all right Y'all know how Emerald be doing, child. Today we are using the Emerald Lagasse. Our Emerald Lagasse air fryer. Yes, that's what we're using today, Emerald. Emerald, and you know he automatically presets himself for 370. And I'll go ahead. He automatically sets himself 370, 15 minutes. Of course, it's not going to be 15 minutes that we need, guys. So I'm going to go ahead. Put this to seven minutes and I'll go ahead and let it cook for those seven minutes and then I'll come and flip them over to the other side and I'll probably air fry them for maybe another three minutes on the other side. Of course y'all know I'll be back to let y'all see those hash browns. You guys will see how it all comes together. Something quick to do in the morning for breakfast or whenever you want to have it. All right guys, I'll be back. Okay, just got my hash browns out of the air fryer. They look delicious, nice and golden brown. As you guys can see, let me pick one up for you guys. I already flipped them over. It's hot, not that hot, but it's hot. Look at that, ouch. The devil is a lie. Let me pick up another one real quick. Ooh wee, see I'm doing this for y'all. See, I ain't gonna burn myself for y'all because Mona. But yes, those are the hash browns, guys. Um, I did 10 minutes because they were frozen. I did 10 minutes and then I flipped it over uh, for the other five minutes. So, <clears throat> they look amazing. They look delicious. Nice and golden brown. Look at that. And you know what? It's still soft. See? See how it bends? It's still soft. You still want it to be soft. Just a little nice and crunchy on the outside. Wait until you guys see what I build with this. Okay, um, oh, yeah, that's right. Let me show you guys. I did take the bacon and sausage 
We took the bacon and sausage out. So the bacon and sausage is done. Take y'all in, you see that bacon? And I like cutting my bacon in half. Cooks faster. I just like doing it that way. And the sausages, yes. Those Jimmy Dean sausages, I love Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean is good, but y'all know me, whatever's on sale. <laughs> anyway, but um, yeah, so, um, yep, we got Jimmy Dean sausages all nice and done, and the bacon, the le bacon, yes, all done. So, let's get these eggs done, guys, and let's build our hash brown sandwiches. I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back getting ready to cook my eggs and as you guys can see, I don't have my normal round pan. I have this flat square pan. You guys will see why I'm using this because I want my eggs to be a certain shape and I hope you guys can see. All right, yeah, you can see. So, my pan's all nice and hot. Put my egg in there. All right, and as you guys can see, my eggs will be a nice square shape. I need my eggs to be nice and square to make my hash brown sandwich, because that's what we're making today. Hash brown sandwiches. So I need my eggs flat. All right. <clears throat> so I'll move my other eggs back there. This, I'll let it cook up. Give it a little time to cook up. I did fix a second batch of hash browns. They're in the air fryer. They should be done shortly. Our bacon and sausage, you guys saw those. So the eggs is the last step to our hash brown sandwiches. And my cookware, guys, because I do get asked this a lot, my cookware is Gotham. Um, I will leave it in the description box below if you guys are interested in the Gotham uh, cookware. It's old school, but you know, Gotham's been around a while, um, but it is good quality, um, not so pricey uh, cookware, but it's good quality, you know. <coughs> and see, as you see with the Gotham, it's non-stick. Just waiting for this to cook a little bit more on top. Still a little wet across the top here. So I'm waiting on that to cook. Make sure I got my heat down. You don't really need high heat to cook eggs. It's just eggs. And I seasoned it with some garlic pepper. And of course, y'all know the star of the show child, the parsley. Y'all know how he do. So. Still a little wet on top, but I am gonna go ahead and get this flipped over. Hot, hot, hot. Flip over. I should've got my other spatula out, but I didn't. Let me get my other spatula out. Hold on, y'all. Other spatula out to help me get this flipped. All right, make sure y'all back and y'all can see. Okay. Flipped over. Come on now. Oh, egg. Oh boy. Ripped our egg. Oh well. It's all right. We're gonna cut it anyway. I'm gonna cut it anyway. I'm gonna cut it into portions to put on the sandwich anyway. So, I'll go ahead and do that now since it ripped. Nothing wrong with that, we we're gonna cut it anyway. So, no big deal. All right guys, so you guys see, I've got the egg done. It's cut into portions. All right, and that's it 
for the eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and cook that second batch of eggs, cut it into squares for our sandwiches. I'll be back guys, so you guys can see how I build this hash brown breakfast sandwich. Okay guys, let's build our hash brown breakfast sandwiches. Make sure you guys can see, yep. Okay, so we've got everything here. <clears throat> our hash brown egg sausage, we've got everything here. Got everything in the, okay. So you guys know we've got everything here. So this is what we'll do. We're gonna do our hash brown. Uh, we can do two sausages some strips of bacon and you can do cheese if you want to hold on y'all uh, he better stop acting up okay let me show y'all that so we got our hash brown two sausages we've got two strips of bacon and we've got our egg to lay over it doesn't that look delicious let me take y'all in Ooh we and then you take another hash brown and you put it on top just like that and you get what is going on camera okay and then you get your hash brown sandwich let me hold that so y'all can see better hold on y'all let me get y'all at a better camera angle here because that's not working all right here it is our hash brown sandwich hash brown breakfast sandwich guys look at it doesn't it look so good and y'all already know i'm gonna sprinkle some star to show on it look at that hash brown breakfast sandwich all right guys you see me do it so you know i did it you see me do it guys as always i'm always doing it filming and recording it y'all Alright guys, this is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget guys, knowledge is power. Thanks guys. Bye.